Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From BBC under the main headline of Will Smith hits Chris Rock on Oscars stage. Summary of headline article. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. I know. To do what we do. You've got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business. You've got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you've got to smile. You've got to pretend like that's okay. What I loved was. Denzel. Washington. Said to me a few moments ago. He said. At your highest moment. Be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Zelensky. Looking for peace without delay, as talks to resume. Live. Summary of headline article. 913 Support from many African leaders and governments for Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, or at least reluctance to condemn it, has dismayed Western officials. At the UN General Assembly Resolution 17 African nations abstained, almost half all abstentions and one voted against condemning Russia for its aggression, and demanding a withdrawal from Ukraine. Though a majority of African countries gave it their backing. Some observers have raised the possibility of a new strategic split across Africa. Similar to that during the Cold War. It harks back to Cold War days and the divisions we saw then. Read more of Jason Burke's piece from Johannesburg. Cold War echoes as African leaders resist criticizing Putin's war. From Mail Online under the main headline of Tiffany Haddish stuns in a green Dolce and Gabbana gown at the Oscars. Summary of headline article. Tiffany Haddish has weighed in on the controversy of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. Despite many Hollywood stars reacting in outrage at the altercation. Haddish called it, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Haddish added. And that meant the world to me. They exploited her. So. I have to do something. He protected his wife. Haddish explained. Meant the world. Haddish added. And that meant the world to me. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Vladimir Putin's fate is out of our hands. Summary of headline article. We've noticed your ad blocking. We rely on advertising to help fund our award-winning journalism. We urge you to turn off your ad blocker for the Telegraph website so that you can continue to access our quality content in the future. Thank you for your support. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of snow to fall in UK this week as temperatures plunge. After March heat wave. Summary of headline article. Temperatures during the day will halve from the highs that were reached last week and will fall. Below freezing overnight as a cold front pushes down from the north UK snow. White stuff to fall this week as temperatures plunge after March heatwave temperatures in the UK. Have plummeted after a week of balmy sunshine. Forecasters predict snow could fall in parts of the country as the mercury will drop in the next few days. The Met Office said the country will become colder, cloudier and more unsettled from Monday, bringing the risk of wintry weather in the middle of the week. Temperatures during the day will halve from the highs reached last week and fall below freezing. Overnight as a cold front pushes down from the north. The UK was bathed in sunshine and blue skies again on Saturday. As a warm and dry spell continued. From Metro under the main headline of P&O Ferries faces ban from UK ports. Summary of headline article. Ferries paying less than minimum wage on international routes are set to be turned away from UK. Ports. Picture. P.A. 
Ministers are set to close British ports to ferry operators who pay below minimum wage in a bid to force P&O ferries to back down from its sweatshop pay policy. Current laws only require ferry workers to be paid the minimum wage while travelling between British ports. Officials blasted the company's sweatshop pay policy which would see 800 recently sacked workers replaced with agency staff paid up to 40% less on average. The rate is currently £8.91 per hour for over 23s and is set to rise to £9.50 next month. A video shared by the Trades Union Congress was said to show P&O dockers in Rotterdam refusing to load freight onto a ferry to Hull. From Huff Post under the main headline of Labour MP Dawn Butler reveals breast cancer diagnosis. Summary of headline article. Dawn Butler in the House of Commons UK Parliament, Jessica Taylor via PA Media Labour MP Dawn Butler has revealed that she has been diagnosed with breast cancer. In a statement this morning, she said doctors had identified breast cancer cells at a very early stage following a routine mammogram in early November. Advertisement The Brent Central MP said, It is something that I will get through and over, as she announced she was taking time off work to recover from surgery. Butler also paid tribute to NHS staff, who she said were struggling to cope with the aftermath of the pandemic, and called on the government to properly invest in it. Advertisement, the NHS has caught my cancer early. The operation was a complete success. And I will make a full recovery. From the Independent under the main headline of William Wants to End, Never Complain. Never explain royal tradition. Reports. Summary of headline article. The Duke of Cambridge plans to use just half the staff his father the Prince of Wales has. And wants to end the long-standing royal tradition of never complain. Never explain. Reports have claimed. Prince William. 39 is said to have met with aides following unprecedented backlash from his eight-day Caribbean tour with wife Kate Middleton. A number of newspaper reports on Monday carried comments from sources suggesting William had been considering how long-held protocols can be modernized when he ascends the throne. Changes could include halving staff when he becomes the Prince of Wales and ending the policy of, never complain, never explain. The newspapers reported, Barbados replaced the Queen as head of state in November, and elected its first president during a ceremony witnessed by the Prince of Wales. From BBC under the main headline of Shanghai Covid, oil prices fall after city starts lockdown. Summary of headline article. She added that, Given the spike in COVID cases, there were expectations of more government stimulus and interest rates could be lowered quite significantly in the coming days. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Oscars 2022, Will Smith wins Best Actor as Coda. Makes history with Best Picture. Summary of headline article. The ceremony began with last year's Best Supporting Actor winner Daniel Kaluuya and H.E.R. The Queen of Basketball scooped the award for Best Documentary Short Subject, while the Windshield Wiper won the award for Best Animated Short Film. June collected several more awards over the course of the night, winning Best Original Score for Hans Zimmer's Music. Greg Fraser winning Best Cinematography. Joe Walker winning Best Film Editing and Patrice Vermitt and Zhuzhana Sipos winning Best. Production Design. Kenneth Branagh won his first Oscar for Best Original Screenplay with Film Belfast. While Sean Hedder won Best Adapted Screenplay for her work on Coda. Finally, Coda scooped the ultimate award winning Best Picture and making history into the bargain.
Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.